Reaching you tonight from the beautiful city of Lagos, Nigeria, it's Moments Girls Talk. Our guests are on-air personality Jimmy the Hype Man and Ethan and Harriet Company CEO Boomy Williams. Let's talk about what's in a name, family name branding. Now, I have to say in Nigeria, and probably in Af a lot of African countries, names are extremely important, right? Should a woman change her last name when she gets married? I think so it really depends on the guy and it's something you guys would talk about. Mm -hmm. I know someone that um, said when they just gotten married and his wife said, oh, do you, should I change my name? I'm just joking, so I said, I keep your name as long as my children carry my own name. And 15 years later, she's kept her name. I would prefer if you wanted to keep your name, I would gladly have you add it to so yeah, so I would, that, that, would, that, would, that would work perfectly, but I mean, if you insist on keeping your name, it sounds a little selfish to me. My husband is liberal and he's like, yeah, whatever works for you. All that and the question of the day is just a moment away. Welcome back to Moments Girls Talk. In the studio with us are two amazing guests, Jimmy and Bumi, and we're going to be talking about a very interesting topic, the power of names. Now, I have to say in Nigeria, and probably in Afri a lot of African countries, Names are extremely important, right? Um, people, you name your child based on circumstances that are happening in your life. Um, you name your child based on whatever it is that you want to happen in their life. So, for example, my name is Bolali. Mm -hmm. um, so it's Omobolali, child meets wealth at home. Mm -hmm. My sister's name is Omolola, child mm -hmm. brought wealth home. Taiwo, Kende, Yetunde. Um, I'm using Yoruba names because that's the context that I have, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. you know, but names mean a lot to us. And even more so, surnames, last names are very important in Nigeria. Um, I've seen people's last names get them into places where you're like, <laughs> True. Damn. Yes. you know what I mean? Yes. Um, people will be like, oh, that is X, Y, and Z's kid. Mm -hmm. That is so and so. She's a whatever. Mm -hmm. And it's interesting because I think um, when you're thinking about marriage and you're thinking about getting married, sometimes you wonder, you're like, hmm, I know people who marry certain people based on the fact that they want to have access to this yeah. name yeah. and to further their and lives that and their happens everywhere, not just in Nigeria. Yes, it does. Mm. Now, but do you think that on the flip side where a name can have a negative connotation? Absolutely. So we'll use, for a lack of better um, example, we'll use politicians, right? Mm. Um, there's certain politicians who maybe they did something in history mm -hmm. that was wrong. Mm -hmm. And, okay, a, a perfect one would be Abacha. Mm -hmm. um, I can imagine that if I ever met one of Abacha's kids, I would be like, oh. I think, I think a lot saying, of, because, I, you know, because you've used him in particular as an example, yeah. I think a lot of people have that reaction. It's unfair. You know me, I like to play devil's yeah. advocate. But I won't, I won't lie. For, I, when I met one of them, I was a bit sort of like, and I thought, hold on a second, I don't know him from a can of paint. Yeah. Why am I judging him based on his surname? And I never did that till I came here. Hmm. I never I never did, you know, I mentioned before before the break, I didn't ask people what their surnames were when I yeah. first came here. It was, yeah. Hi, nice to meet you, my name is Michelle. And when they were like, where are you from? And I said, what do you mean? As in, what part of Nigeria are you from? I'm Nigerian. Like, you know, it wasn't relevant, I'm from this state, yeah. et cetera. But you're, you're, you're influenced by your environment. So the first thing I will do is, hi, okay. And mainly, especially if it's a man that's trying to chat you up, you want to check on him and make sure that he's not attached <laughs> to somebody else. But you do ask. So we do react because if, if you hear that, you know, sorry, Jimmy, what's your surname? Akinshola. Akinshola. If you hear that, Jimmy, yeah, an Akinshola, right. basically. There you go. That was going to be okay, my exact I didn't, point. I didn't even know that. But if you hear that an Akinshola, I don't know, 10 years ago, robbed a bank, and he says, oh, yes, I'm so-and-so Akinshola. We'll all be like, hold your, you know, hold your pocket. Mm -hmm. this is the same it's, 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 we're human beings. We do that. It's, I think it's wrong, but we do do it. What do you guys think? No, but I didn't think to necessarily ask who you are because they want to judge you. This part of the world, we're very um, community based. Mm -hmm. You know, we have very strong ties. Mm -hmm. So you meet someone, or oh, what's your name? What's your last name? Mm -hmm. And the first thing is, okay, you had this and this daughter. I went to school with this person. Mm -hmm. I went to school with that person. They, first of all, they want to see how, you know, we know each other, mm -hmm. if at all. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And, you know, there's okay. all the, there's, that. I agree, yes. There's always that bit of, okay, ah, you find that you're meeting someone for the first time, they ask you what you're, I can't show right? I can't show 
Which are Kinshola? Um, Yinka, Kinshola, mm -hmm. Okay, mm -hmm. is it the one that went How to... How come you said Yinka? I don't know. Like, That's I, my dad's name. Oh, okay. <laughs> see, see, I, I don't know. I, I, I just mentioned that. Mm -hmm. And then, so, you're speaking to someone like um, one of your dad's pairs as well. Yes. Mm -hmm. And then you said, which Yinka, did he go to CMS or did he go to Greg's or did mm -hmm. he this? Okay, I know him or it's my cousin. So you first have that. Before, that's normal, yes. I think that especially if it's an elderly person asking you that. That I don't think there's anything wrong. But, so that's why we have a lot of that here, because yeah. in our society is such that, you know, um, we have that community feel. Mm -hmm. um, in, in like London, mm -hmm. like you said, mm -hmm. everybody is very much into themselves. Okay. You think that's why they yes. don't ask? Yes. Look, okay, even, I disagree. No, I disagree. Even, okay. you're going to work in the morning. Mm. They don't even greet. Everybody is just, you yes, know, okay. nobody really cares what is happening mm -hmm. because everyone has their own cross, mm -hmm. cross to carry. Mm -hmm. so it's, it's, a, it's a culture thing, to be honest. Yeah. Uh, I mean, I agree with you in it to some mm -hmm. extent, but like you said, you would not have guessed that I was Yoruba. Mm -hmm. I mean, my mom is Igbo, by the way. Mm -hmm. Okay. And because I have such a, a split background, uh, the Igbo side and then the Yoruba side, when I started doing more entertainment things, I never used to put my last name out there. Mm -hmm. It was that's probably why my Instagram name is I am Jimmy, mm -hmm. not Jimmy, Jimmy Akinshola mm -hmm. or Fola Jimmy Akinshola. It's mm -hmm. just I am Jimmy because also I mean, it depends on your um, your upbringing. If you depended a lot on your family, mm -hmm. you'd have you carry that name with a lot of mm. um, it would carry a lot of weight for you. Mm -hmm. yeah. And when you present yourself. You, you, the emphasis you lay on your last name will True. be a lot more. You put your last name before you if that last name has opened doors for you when you were growing up. Mm -hmm. But in an, in an instance where it hasn't, it doesn't really hold that much significance. It's been down to you just being yourself. Then a name is just a name. It's a yeah. reference point. I, I don't know if I completely agree with the fact that it's more of a community thing. I think the reason why a lot of times in Nigeria we hold on to last names so mm -hmm. strongly is definitely there's a strong sense of identity in our last names. Mm -hmm. yeah. Tribal, um, you know, in the fact that this is where, how I grew up. Like, I remember when, like, my dad has asked me sometimes, he'd be like, oh, I read an article and your last name wasn't included in or something. He's like, why was your last name not there? And mm -hmm. I'm like, what's the importance? Yeah. Why is this such a big deal? But he's like, yeah, like, you're my child and you come from this lineage. Yes. It's important to me. But I actually know someone who works in the entertainment industry and changed her last name because of her mother was um, kind of into politics and she didn't want people to know. That. Not because yeah. her mother had done anything bad, mm. but she didn't want people to feel like she got access to where she was based because on her last, her last name. name. Yeah. But she grew up in the UK. Because I honestly think that someone, that is a very Western perspective. Yes, it is. Mm. Let's hold that thought. Yes, okay. When yes, we, when we come so. back, you, you'll address what I just said. <laughs> Coming up shortly, the conversation is going to continue. <laughs> So I would prefer if you wanted to keep your name, I would gladly have you add it to. So, so if you make it, you yeah. Know, so I would, that, that would that would that would work perfectly. But I mean, if you insist on keeping your name, it sounds a little selfish to me. Welcome back to Moments Nigeria. This is Girls Talk. We are discussing a name. What's in a name? How far can it get you? Are there disadvantages? Are there advantages? Before the break, Bolin, they had mentioned something very interesting. You had said that there was somebody in the entertainment mm, industry whose mother was a politician or mm -hmm. is a politician, mm -hmm. but she changed her surname and that you felt that it was somebody who grew up abroad that yep. could do that. I would agree with you because I found that it's that when people do that sort of thing, it's either people that have grown up abroad or have spent a lot of time abroad and don't want you to judge them or think that they have access to certain things because of their parents. The majority of people that are here, I'm not saying everybody does it, the majority of people that are here realize the benefits of it. Now, when I first came here, I may not be from a Lagos family, but if I had mentioned my father's name, because he's, he is a diplomat, mm. it would have helped me get access to certain things. And I didn't even think it was relevant because one, I'm working in entertainment. Mm -hmm. How is that gonna help me? Yeah. So, oh, what's your surname? My name is Dede, like you said earlier. Oh, is it so and so Dede or the other Dede? Oh my God, my ambassador is daughter. Oh, look, and I'm, why didn't you tell us? I'm like, yeah, how why don't you tell us? I'm like, how is it relevant? <laughs> how is it relevant to what I'm doing for a living? Oh, but you know, oh, you should mention that. Or I've been told by certain people that I work with, you should talk more about your experiences growing up. Why? It, I didn't. It has nothing to do with what I do mm -hmm. for a living because people judge you based on that. And I didn't know your father was so. How is it relevant? 
in Nigeria, those things are very important. Uh, well, you, you know, also, um, like in the Yoruba culture, mm. there's this saying, Roti Yomweni Toje. Okay. Is, I don't and that means, remember whose child you are. Remember yeah. whose okay. child you mm -hmm. are. And she mentioned something that her dad said to her, why didn't you mention your name? Because mm -hmm. you're my child. Mm -hmm. It's a cultural thing. Mm -hmm. Remember whose child you are. So it's ingrained in them, in mm -hmm. their generation. Mm -hmm. they've, they've passed it on from generation to generation. You just need to know whose child you are, the kind of home you're coming from. Mm. And even, like, that's why when they say, who, um, they ask you, oh, your yeah, ambassador, this mm. doctor, they want to know, they see he's left a good name for himself. And yes. then they want to associate you with that. But but you, that's you why you want to be judged no, based no, no, on, no, no. on yourself, yes, not necessarily, you know, it's a benefit. It's, you, it's, enjoy, no, it's, you have to enjoy it's it. A, it's it's, it's a cultural from. thing. So you see, which is why they always say, where, that's why they tell you, you should remember the home where you're coming from, mm. so that wherever it is you find yourself, mm. you're at your best. Mm -hmm. But also, so you don't taint that name as, as exactly, well. Your father has worked so weight. hard mm. to get to leave such a good name. Don't go out there and taint the name. Okay, yeah. so I, I'm a bit curious. Yeah, and you know, I'm, I want to find out what you guys think about this um, mm. specific topic because it's about names, but changing your name when you get married. <clears throat> now. Um, I recently read, my sister, my, one of my sisters who's not married, she's going through this like crisis where she's like, oh my gosh, I'm going to have to change my name when I get married. She's not dating anyone, mm -hmm. but she started to think about it. And the reason for us why it's hard is because we are all girls in our family. Okay. My father is one of two boys in his family. Mm -hmm. His brother only has all girls as well. Oh, wow. So technically, after my dad and his brother, our name ends. And also yeah. my, last name, my last name is not common at all. So it's everyone not, who's okay. an Ulukani, we're usually related. Okay. We're all from Malaysia, we're all from Oshun okay. States. And I've been sitting there and I've been thinking to myself, I love my last name. Yeah. Am I going to change my last name? Do you guys think that a woman should change her last name when she gets married? Um, from a guy's point of view, I mean, if I was going to get married to um, anyone, to be honest, it doesn't really, really matter what, what she does or the significance behind her name, it would be a thing of, her choice. Okay, it so you'd be okay with it? You, you would have to be if it's what makes her happy. I mean, uh, but at the end of the day, I would love for people to know that we're together. Mm. And there's no other way for people to know that uh, aside the fact that you wear a ring, but you bear my name. Okay. So I would prefer if you wanted to keep your name, I would gladly have you add it to. So, so hyphenate you. Make it, you yeah, so I would, that, that, would, that, would, that would work perfectly, but I mean, if you insist on keeping your name, it sounds a little selfish to me. That's hmm. interesting. Interesting, Jerry. That's selfish interesting. is an interesting word. What do you think? Yeah. That you think I think it something? really depends on the guy, and it's something you guys would talk about. Mm -hmm. I know someone that um, said, when they just gotten married, and his wife said, oh, do you, should I change my name? I'm just joking. He said, I can keep your name as long as my children carry my own name. And 15 years later, she's kept her name. We are in a marriage. You're married to me. It's a union. And in that union, some, if you're going to go by uh, corporate industry, if there's a union, if there's a merger, you either join up with one name or you share a name. Or, or, or you, 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 you put both names both together. Names together. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? So if you're going to, you have to let me, have let me one ask or the you other. This, you said, mm -hmm. I have a friend who just got married. She mm -hmm. wanted to keep her last name. Her husband's name was Rodriguez. Hers is Nelson. Mm -hmm. So they, she said she'll hyphenate it. Mm -hmm. yeah. so, he now decided to make it Rodriguez Nelson, so they are both Rodriguez, Rodriguez Nelson. Nelson. Oh, Could he you do that? Yes. He did his as well. He did his as well. And so hers, is, last name hers, hers is the last name, right? Yes, hers because of it just made more sense. More sense Rodriguez, Rodriguez Nelson. Nelson. I'd like to find out what what you think about that, Bumid, but we'll come back to that shortly. We'll be back in a moment. Don't go anywhere. No, 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 no. I can't work for younger brother. I need to learn those things. I'm like, yeah, 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 yeah. How you doing? How you doing? Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. Yes, my brother. So I just, you know, I just took off my glasses and the guy said, Ah, the eyes. Naim, nah, he, he Papillo Junior. <laughs> Welcome back to Moments Girls Talk. We hope that you've enjoyed the conversation so far. Make sure that you join us via all of our social media platforms. We want to hear your opinions on this very conversation. Now, before the break, I know, Michelle, you had wanted to find out. Uh, before the break, Bolani had mentioned that a friend of hers had gotten married, and I think her surname was Rodriguez, and the mm -hmm. husband's name was Nelson, and he took the name as well. What do you think about that, Bumi? Um, personally, I would not um, advocate that. 
Why? My husband, my husband, take my last name and his last name. Mm. No. Why? Why not? It's like, like he said, when mm. um, the two of you come together, you know, you merge. I could keep my name, mm -hmm. my last name, mm -hmm. and his last okay. name, but I'm not trying to change his own identity. You see. So you okay. think you think it would be you trying to change his identity yeah, in some way? It, 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 that's the way I say this. When we take okay. their men's last name, doesn't that change our own identity? Yeah, no, but way? you see, that's that's one. You well, expected to change your identity. We're expected to do that as women. So you get oh. married, and then so you are taking on mm. his last name. Is the man is not expected to take, take on yours? Uh, no, of course yeah. not. Yeah. So yeah. if you guys have that arrangement, mm -hmm. that's fine. But for me personally, you don't see the point. I don't see the point. I think a lot of Nigerians would probably agree with that. Yeah, yeah. and also I would not try and have my kids have. My, my last name and my husband's last mm -hmm. name. No, they're their father's children. Mm -hmm. You see, maybe it's also that thing that has, like I said, that cultural thing. Remember yeah. the child of it's who how you are. Do you understand? Yeah, it's so it's the way, I, it's very cultural. They're their father's children. Yeah. They're not my, they're my kids, but you're always, remember the child yeah. of whom you are. you are. That household name, your father's name mm -hmm. is what they say. I think I come from a liberal generation where so, we just, so it's I, different. We just yeah. allow it. What's, I think what's, what's interesting is that both both you and I actually yeah. agree on because we, we rarely agree on, that, <laughs> but we agree on that one. Your name your name goes with you know your surname works with your first name. I like my surname. Yeah. I think Michelle cool. Dede just sounds so cool. Yeah. But I, I do I have thought about it because I've so thought, for when I get married how am I going to let go of that name because it just sounds really Michelle, you, know, you don't Michelle have to let go of it. <laughs> Sorry, that does not sound as nice. <laughs> Future <laughs> husband, wherever it is that you're from, I will take your name. But Michelle Dede just, it's just Dede, Michelle just Dede. Michelle Dede. Dede. My just husband is liberal and he's like, yeah, whatever works for you. All it's right, so we, we have a very interesting question of the day. Wow. And this one I think is mm. hilarious because who has not sometimes been stopped by police and been like, ah, if only I had one last name that could get me out oh of this. My All man. right, the question is, if you could choose any Nigerian surname mm -hmm. to get you out of trouble, which would it be? Mm. To get you out of trouble. That's always a tricky one you because you know do you not like, know that I am? Exactly, but when you're doing the do you not know that, maybe that particular person that has stopped you has had an issue with that person's father or something Ooh. has happened. Immediately I just thought I like this Dangote. One. I thought Dangote, Dangote immediately, but then it depends who's stopping me. No, so if you say Dangote, then you're liable to pay more. That's the problem. But, True. But, <laughs> but I'll tell you one I've actually used. Okay. Um, oh, you've done it. Don't, don't judge me, please. <laughs> I've actually used this one because uh, of how I look. Uh, when I was younger, no, I won't say how much younger. Um, I used the name Kanu I ah. used I used the uh, last yeah, name. Yeah, I said yeah. I was his younger brother that just came back from London because uh -huh. then he was playing for Arsenal, and I was trying to get into a party, oh. <laughs> and I knew he was in there with JJ Okocha. So I'm like, hmm. Guys, I got this. <laughs> so I went to the gate. I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Just, you know, follow me. Hey, hey. I just told my boys just be around me. Like I said, <laughs> entourage. Yeah, yeah. You get me? Like, yeah. My boys were like, yeah. you don't know how. You don't know how. I can't work for younger brother. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, 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 yeah. How you doing? How you doing? Uh -huh, uh -huh. Yes, my brother. So I just, you know, I just took off my glasses and the guys like, ah, the eyes. Naim, he is the eye. Now he's Papilo Junior. <laughs> And they let you in. They let of me course. in. It was a that's good party a good as well. That's free free drinks, everything. That's, good. that's, that's smart, Jimmy. That's, that's smart. That's smart. You're a sharp one. You use, um, oh, man, man. Which one would I use? I'm still thinking on it. I think it's because it has to be a name that, like, people don't know. I'm particularly. I don't know. Because, I, no, the, the question is which name would you use to get out of trouble? To, be, yes. to get me. Maybe. Any 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 major politician. Exactly. Any anybody. Yeah, I don't think you should use private. Um, yeah, not private citizens. Like people of, of wealth. If yeah. you're, if you're in a fix and you need to get out, if you need to get you into a position. You have to be careful because you know in Nigeria, because if you say okay, I'm I'm related to the current president, you don't really look more than how. Yeah, of exactly. course. So maybe maybe yeah. like a Yoruba person, maybe like Obani Koro. You know, depending on, like on, on what situation you're in. Yeah. If, if you're, or where shall I ask? Yeah, what should stay? You know what I mean? <laughs> if you're in Australia, by the way, and you're just, you know. I'll be like, don't you maybe have where shall I ask? Neat. I'm like, oh my God. I'm just going to call my dad. Wait, what about you guys? You haven't answered. What would you uh -huh, have to yes. get out of trouble? Oh, jeez. Mm. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, you've used it before. <laughs> you, you've used it You're before. like, what would you use? What would, I use? what would I use? What would I use? Mm. I'll probably use a politician's name. Okay. 
I would say Alibaba because I'm from yeah. Delta State. He's from Delta State. He's a robo. I'm a robo. So I'd say him. Yes, I'm but, to Like Jimmy said, private citizens won't get you. It's, it's politicians that put the fear of God inside. You're yeah. talking about getting out of trouble. trouble. It depends Not on the kind just of just getting trouble. favors. And thank you so much for joining us, both of you. Mm -hmm. Wish you the best of luck. Before thank we you. let you go, though, yes. we have a tradition here on the show where we like you to share something that nobody knows about yourself. It's called Celebrity Secret or Throwback Picture. Uh, we don't usually do the throwback yes. picture. We usually so, ask for something interesting, odd, quirky, habits so you have. And people share all sorts. I use my friends to get out of uh, difficult situations a lot. How? So yeah. One of such situations was a police situation. Okay. Um, but my friends are very weird. What do you mean by use them to get out of certain situations? Well, use okay, this is what it was. I was on my way home and um, I got stopped by police. Mm. And for some reason, I, they just didn't recognize me. I'm like, okay, I'm not that popular after mm -hmm. all. So, and I'm there, I'm like, Oga, let me be honest with you. I did go one show, very important. So I acted as if I was calling Two-Face. Mm -hmm. I'm like, ah, let me be the host. I did go prepare. Mm. But I actually just called DJ Spinner. Okay. So I said he should act like two faced So he just took the, <laughs> he just took the phone and said, Ah, oh God, no shaking, no shaking, nothing the apple. <laughs> That's a good one. Ethan and Harriet is actually named after my kids. My okay. children's English names. Okay. Yes. So a boy That's and a girl. They didn't know. So yeah. That's, That's something. A, those are beautiful names, Ethan yeah. and Harriet. Yeah. I was actually going to ask you earlier and during the interview, because why would you choose very English names for a project that's supposed to Nigeria. Yes, that I get the inspiration from them. From them, that's and so it's named after them. Makes sense. You make me want to have kids. Oh, Jimmy, you, you need to find a woman first. <laughs> Thank you guys so, much, you for so much for coming on. Coming on. on. Jimmy's stuff. like, move on, move on, go to the break quickly. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely amazing. It was a good conversation. It was. Very, very insightful. <laughs>